Hey guys, it's Saturday. And we're trying to get this greenhouse weatherproof before the snow comes next week. I just wanted to show you our progress currently. You probably, if you've been following us, saw the backfilling of this. Uh, we're starting to frame out the front cheek wall, which is going to allow us to shed the snow. The snow is going to come from the top and hit this roof and slide down the glazing and pile up here for easy removal all winter. And it's in the south facing side, so this will dry up pretty nicely. But, but what we needed was the right lift. And what we learned from the first uh, greenhouse build out here, this geothermal greenhouse gave us all the data we need for the new one. Um, we needed a wall here, so this is going to be awesome. Not only does this wall help us for snow removal, it's going to help us, uh, allow us to walk more in the greenhouse. And because the glazing is going to be connected here. So it'll allow you to walk right in front of the front bed here. Uh, so it should be pretty awesome. What we do have to get in here before we finish framing um, is the rocks that are going to be on the floor here. That way we don't have to carry them in with buckets through a door. So we're going to dump a lot of stone up over in there before we start putting the cross members in. So stay tuned for more construction. One thing I want to tell you, oh, I almost fell in a hole. Well, actually, I did fall in a hole, is uh, about this wall. So if you can see the bottom wall here, is not really level. In fact, it, the base plate here steps up. And that's because we were, I mean, we used a string line, but we were pouring it, hand doing it in sections. So the bottom wall is not level in any way. But what is level is the top plate. And we're doing that by building the wall as we go. So that we're leveling it as we set that plate. And then we'll go back and we'll set the cross pieces in later. So that's how we're doing it. What do you think, Alan? This is lovely. Yeah, stay tuned for more lovely. Be safe. So we got the wall done. It's Monday, Monday morning. We got the entire cheek wall up and we're gonna finish the plumbing inside today so we can level it all out and half is leveled. And we brought in most of the crushed stone we're going to be using. And you can kind of see here, we set this up for you. To see what we'll be doing here, two layers of fabric cloth and about four inches total. Right in there. So that's what our plan is today, to get the plumbing that we need to finish the earth tube system as well as the irrigation that's going to be inside here. So what we're going to have is a, a planting bed, the entire 40 foot length here, probably three foot in, and then several hose bibs, at least in three places, and potentially a little bathroom area and a open shower in here so we can use the gray water for the planting. That's the plan. The next step is for us to close this up with um, the joists here. We need to get a little bit more dirt in before we close it up so that we can still use the machine. And then we have Solex coming for the front and polycarbonate for the sides. So we'll show you that when it gets here. And there's an update on the greenhouse. The geothermal orangerium using earth tube technology. Any questions, leave them below. Subscribe, like, and share if you're interested in this content. Be safe.